Matthew 6, verse 20. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust do corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai. Call Halau La, Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai. Now that's Hebrew for bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. This is Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thou kingdom come, thou will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever to walk. All right. Now that's the prayer. Yahweh Shai. All right. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. This is the prayer the Lord told us to pray. In, all right. And um, it covers everything. You know, when you pray to the most high. But let's continue to read. This is verse 14. For if ye forgive men their trespasses. Your heavenly father will also forgive you. So brothers that are in the truth and brothers that ask for forgiveness, if you trespass, you know, we are to forgive, you know, because that's a part of what repenting. All right. Now, verse 15. But if but if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. All right. Verse 16. Moreover, when ye fast, be ye not as the hypocrites. Of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. All right, because when you're fasting, you're supposed to fast unto the Lord in secret. You're not supposed to give off this uh, persona. You know, you want to let people know that you're fasting, and you know, you you know, showing them that you're you strong and. Whatever the case may be, you're looking for attention, all right? It says, verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. So when you go out and seek that attention, like a woman, all right, then you're going to get your reward. It says, verse 17, but thou, when thou fastest, anoint thy head and wash thy face, that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. Verse 19. Lay up. Now it's to the point now. It says, lay up not, excuse me, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. All right. Now that means you don't want to lay up your treasures. You don't want to lay up, uh, give your body for this society, give your life for this society. On carnal things, all right? In particular, in this verse, it's talking about money, all right? It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth. You know, you might work four, three, five jobs, and guess what? You're not even going to have the time, all right, to enjoy that money. You know, the scriptures tell you it's, you know, we're like a bag full with holes. Because even when you do make money, you still got to dish it right back out because you got to pay your bills, all right? So why give your life over to money? Okay. And this goes the same as for an example to others, giving your life over to being a basketball player or a football player or going to college and trying to go back to school and get your associates, whatever, you know, your bachelors and, you know, doing all that stuff for what? When the Lord Yahweh Shai said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. Now there's nothing wrong with making money. There's nothing wrong with even going to Go for a trade, something for six months so you can get into the field of supporting yourself. There's nothing wrong with those things. But if you put your spirit into it and your spirit is not focused upon the Lord, then guess what? You're dying. You're losing. All right. This world today brings so much distraction. You know, I did a, I did a lesson the other day 
on um, Psalms 51, how the, the Lord created us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, you know, because we need that, you know, you don't want to get wrapped up into the things of this world. Fuck the things of this world because everything you have here is going to die anyway. I'm just being blunt and being real. You know, it says verse 19, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust do corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. You know, that's carnal things. Verse 20, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. Because when you sow up for yourselves the treasures for the heaven, well, for the heavens to come, which is the kingdom here on earth, that's the works that you do in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. This, you know, a lot of people may think that, you know, when we bring out these scriptures and the doctrine and the gospels being poured out, people don't take it, you know, seriously. They think all oh, these guys just, you know, they just think they really think they're going to get a reward. We are. We are. When this society falls, just know that our kingdom is next. You know, and that's why you have a lot of scoffers that that pray to Satan and hope like hell that we are not telling the truth. Everything that you work for in this world can be taken away from you. OK, but what we work for in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our works are not done in vain, man. When the Lord's word be fulfilled far as all of his prophecies, then you're going to see, all right, the the uh, the works that was done, which the brothers have done in their flesh, not, not in vain. So it says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust do corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. Verse 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Ooh, there it is right there, man. Boom. All right, because wherever your mind is and what you're thinking about, all right, and what you're doing, if it's not toward your how about shy, all right, that's what your spirit is going to be focused on. So you know a brother is when he's in his spirit because he's his spirit is focused on the Lord, you know? Now, it's all about... It's not all about you got to show men that you this and you that. But spiritual men can see that. Just like spiritual men can also, you know, I'm going to say the righteous spiritual men. I don't want to just say spiritual men, but righteous spiritual men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can see that you're not in the spirit. You see? From the way that you talk, the way that you walk, the way you don't live up to your words, you know? You say this. You're going to do this, but then you don't do it. You know, hey, actions speak louder than words, man. As that worldly saying is said. All right. It says for where your treasures it, where your treasure is, where your money at, there will your heart be also. And that reminds me of the worldly saying. They say, put your money where your mouth is. All right. You know, put your money where your mouth is. All right. If you're going to bet a stack, bet a stack. Don't talk about it. Be about it. You see, you see how these scriptures relate to us as Jake Esau don't talk like this, you know, it's just modern day speech today. But guess what? We said we said um, uh, things in this manner in these verses in that time when we spoke like this, man. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. In modern days is where your money is. Uh, put, put your money where your mouth is, you know. Because your mind is going to be focused, all right, on that particular thing you're doing. And if it's not of your how about me, I was shy, you is good for nothing. You're good for nothing, man. You know, and guess what? It's going to be you being destroyed. You. Verse 22, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So if you focus on your how about Shimei was shy and put the Lord first, everything else, all right, your whole body will be light. But if you focus upon this, you focus upon that and put the Lord on the back burner, you're going to get to the Lord when you do. You're not putting spirit inside of your lessons. You're just 
just throwing anything, putting it up just so you can meet your three shows a week. Yo, you're lukewarm. You're going to fall the fuck out, man. You're going to fall out, man. You can tell even when the brother's doing this video, if he's putting the spirit into it. If it's, if there's the spirit in, in it, man. Because there's a spirit that comes with this thing, man. And that's the comforter. And the Lord also teaches us how to speak. He uses our mouths to speak, man. So it says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thou eye be single... Thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? <laughs> it says, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve the most high and mammy, meaning you can't do both. You know, now there's a fine balance that we walk on and the most high already knows what we need. You know, it tells you also in this chapter, when I keep reading on, it says what? He feedeth the birds. The birds go out every morning chirping and they get fed. They don't pray to the most high. <laughs> they don't ask the most high for food, but he feedeth them. So how much more us? All right. Who he have chosen. It says no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh and mammon. All right. And that goes for the same as you putting your spirit into something else. You know, whatever what it is you're doing through the week. You know, if you're not, your eye not single. And if your body is not full of light, then you're just full of darkness, man. Because if you're not, no use for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. What need of you? You know, there was a saying that um that character, Kevin Gates, I heard him in one of his songs. And he said, um, I said this before. He said um, that uh, if you, it's a saying, he said, if you can't be used for any, I forgot how it go. But basically something like if you can't be used then you're good for nothing, you know? If you can't be used, then you're good for nothing. All right, so let's get to the next verse. And it says, verse 25, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? All right, so let me read 26. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, Neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much more better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his statue? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, and toil you not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. All right. It says, wherefore, if the most high so clothe the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall not shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith. All right. And that's really what really what it boils down to the word faith. All right. Do you have the faith? And if you know, you know, you can have faith, but then your faith can be taken away as well. You know, your faith shows within your spirit and, you know, and your work when you push toward your how about Shimei was shy. You know, you're showing no faith when you're not into the work, you know. But um, that's just some food for thought. Wanted to bring this up. Um, I'm going to get this scripture, read this, and I'll end it off with that. Uh, Matthew 6 and 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So be mindful of what, what you put in your spirit into, you know, because if you don't catch yourself... <laughs> If let me say this, if 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 you don't, you know, control your spirit and what you put your spirit into, then whatever you put yourself, your spirit into is gonna overtake you. And you're gonna be blind by the fact that you're no longer, you know, of the Lord. You know, the scriptures say many are called and few are chosen. You know, so you gotta be careful, you know.
You got to be mindful of these things. That's why the scriptures say examine thyself. You're supposed to constantly be examining yourself and asking these questions and talking to yourself. All right. You know, doing the works and praying and doing the things that the Lord delight in so you don't fall or slip into that way. But the scriptures say for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.